Good morning, my name is Gerald Rhodes. I am a coach, chef, culinary expert, and today on Zesty Experience, we're talking about the power of the avocado, guacamole. So one of the easiest uh, garnishes or uh, main components that I love to put into my salads and onto my foods is avocado. It is so delicious. It is something that is so readily available in just about every supermarket and it is so versatile. There are so many different things that you can do with it. I made a dessert uh, a few weeks ago and it was, it was actually really good. And uh, I've had a couple of desserts with, with avocado. So it's really, really incredible what, what you can do with this uh, simple, readily accessible food and by the way it's one of those power foods that is so healthy for you it has uh, tons of uh, vitamins and nutrients the right kind of fats that can also help you start your day um, great to eat in the morning I love it for dinner and this is one of the ways that I have uh, enjoyed this for years so I love making guacamole. So uh, I know being here in, in Colorado, it's really kind of second nature to have these sorts of Southwestern foods. And not, I don't really, really want to call it uh, a Mexican food. It's not really Mexican cuisine or anything like that, but just because it's one of those things, it's kind of like uh, pizza or barbecue sauce. And depending on where you go, it, you can uh, take on a whole host of different flavors. So this is my basic recipe for making guacamole. So what I do is I take two or three avocados and uh, I slice them in half, remove the pits, and then I uh, cut it into chunks before I scoop it all out and put it in the bowl. Uh, I dice up uh, one serrano pepper. You can add more jalapeno or ghost peppers depending on exactly how hot that you want it. Make sure that you're wearing a glove on the hand that you're handling those peppers with. Uh, it uh, makes it a, a lot easier and uh, you can avoid any, uh, any dangers uh, from, from the hot peppers. So that's, uh, that's one pro tip that I would love to pass along to you. I put in about half an onion. You can use yellow onion or white onion for a milder flavor. I like using red onion. I put in a couple of cloves of garlic, two, three cl cloves of garlic, and then some cilantro, lime zest. I, I, I chop up the cilantro and lime, lime zest real fine. I usually do that together. Put that in um, and then squeeze the lime juice squeeze that, uh, cut that lime in half, squeeze that lime juice all over the avocado. This way it uh, not only gives it that, that, that tang uh, and, uh, and a little bit of sourness, but it also um, keeps the vibrant color of the avocado too. And then the last thing that I do is um, I uh, smash all of that, uh, all those ingredients together, smash those all together so I make it a nice creamy mixture so that it's uh, really smooth and, uh, and velvety. Uh, there shouldn't be too much uh, water in there, but it should be a really smooth consistency. And then I take a couple of plum tomatoes or um, vine ripened tomatoes and I usually do uh, two of those, two or three of those. Uh, cut out the cores and the seeds, slice those up, dice those up, put that in the guacamole, stir that up with a spoon. Um, this way you're not crushing the tomatoes, adding too much moisture um, to your, to your uh, guacamole there. Uh, and it gives it a great texture from there on out. Season it with a little bit of salt to offset the, uh, the spice of the peppers. And that's how I make delicious guacamole each and every time. And I put it on salads, I put it on chicken, uh, I put it on uh, beef. There's so many ways that you can enjoy this. You can have uh, toast in the morning and put guacamole on that. So many different ways that you can enjoy it. So many different levels of intensity of heat that you can enjoy it with too. Like I said, changing the onions up is gonna give it a different flavor. Adding garlic, not adding garlic, that's also gonna change the flavor. So you can really dial it in to make it exactly the way that you really want it. 
and that's one of the great things about uh, about guacamole is that you can really custom tailor it to fit the flavor profile that you like best so tell me how do you like to make guacamole do you even try to make guacamole is this something new to you is this something that you've never uh, never really uh, tried or made a part of your daily diet I know that avocado is so popular nowadays I think I saw avocado margarita or something like that uh, it's just crazy what, what people are putting avocados in but it, Again, it's also something that you can use as a, as a thickener uh, for a lot of other, um, even sweet foods as well too. Delicious, tasty desserts. Had an incredible pudding with avocados. But how do you use this power food? What do you like to use it on today? I'd love to know in the comments below. My name is Gerald Rhodes. I am a chef coach culinary expert and i hope that this video brought you some value please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i hope to get to know you more and be able to deliver zesty experience to you hope that this video provides you some value and i hope that you have a great morning good morning